Hello and welcome to a compositing tutorial on After Effects in Cinema 4D. If you would like to follow along, visit my page for footages and source files. So, um, in this part we're going to try to create the logo and try to destroy it. And that is creating a 2 and then we need to destroy it using the same technique as we used before. So this is going to be quite a straightforward, it's going to, it's going to be a fast one. So first thing I'm going to try to create a text using a text spline because I need to cut it. So I'm just going to use two and uh, I'm going to change the, I'm going to hide this first. All right. And I'm going to change the, the font to Proxima Nova Wrap and uh, quite a bold one. And I'm just going to change the view to front view. I don't want to see now this one. And um, I'm going to bring this quite a bit up to um, around 350 and then I'm going to scale it down, uh, put it down and uh, put it right in the center, somewhere around there. Beautiful. And now that we have that, we need to destroy this. And to destroy it, we're going to use the same technique. So I'm just going to quite um, um, explain to you how it starts and then I'm going to straightforward forward uh, go into it. So in order to cut, we need to use a spline as we've seen. And this time we're going to use a linear so that we can have things uh, quite sharp, you know. And uh, to do that, I'm going to make sure that my enable snap is enabled so that if I create a snap, for example, let me just show you a first one. So first one is simple. So just create a point and then close it. All right. On the next one, I... I want the next point to be connected to this point, all right? And to do it manually, it's quite hard without this one. And you most of the time will screw up and you never get it right. And to do that, I'm just gonna click. And then when I click again, without releasing, if I keep holding, you know, my my vertex is gonna snap to any next spline vertex that exists. So while holding, I'm just gonna snap it to that, release. Then I'm going to click somewhere else, not near that. Click somewhere else and then keep clicking until you close it. Click somewhere else, click somewhere else and then uh, close this plan. Alright, and the next thing is pretty much the same. Alright, now I can try to extrude, so I'm just going to go back here. And uh, I don't want to see this one. And then I can start extruding using the same technique. Cool. So now we have our text. And that's quite cool. Now all I need now is just go to all of them. If you like cap again, if you still remember, and then just choose one. All right, so that we can have this highlight. Cool, now what we can do, we can get back our fracture, remember, I just did a mistake for example now, and I just hold control so that I can show them all, and um, yeah, so I need to put this in, um, as I said, in a more graph fracture, so that I can just put them all together, and I'm just going to call this 2, now I can just hold this one. As an object not vertices I want to hold the whole object and I'm just gonna use the move tool so that I can move it out a bit all right that is pretty cool so this is what I have now now I'm just gonna make sure that um, it's not I'm just gonna hold all the extrusion and I need to extrude this quite um, a bit more I think 50 will make sense yeah and then I'll just get it out a bit. Cool. Now, we want to extrude this in a really random way. We can actually go and try to extrude each and everything by our own cells, but that's going to be a bit of a hustle and it's not going to be really accurate and it's not going to be really randomized. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a small effect and that's one reason why I also use the fracture because I'm going to use an effector and this effector can only work on these kind of things. That's why I choose Fracture, because Fracture won't really change the object, but in the same time, it is um, able to be affected by an effector. So while selecting the effector, I'm going to go to MoGraph, Effector, Random. You see what happened? 
so it randomized the whole thing so now we're gonna go and try to control that and to do that I'm just gonna go inside parameter and I don't want to change the X and I don't want to change the Y I just want to change the Z so as you can see this will change the whole Z it might probably not work um, super well at the first time but um, if it doesn't work for you well you can just go to effector and try to randomize the C alright so I think this one is quite beautiful um, three, four, seven. And yeah this actually looks quite cool as well um, let's try it yeah it's quite, looks quite cool yep. alright let's just make sure that this one is a bit out alright cool All right, so this is quite cool. Now I'm just gonna try and apply the material on this thing, you see, and then it's gonna apply on the whole thing, and it's quite cool. All right, now we can see the reflection of this thing inside of that, and that's really, that's really, really nice. Cool, um, we could have actually used the same technique of random to um, the fracture, but um, for now it's useless because we just have two pieces which we can control by ourselves. Um, now the next thing you want to do um, um, now that we have this uh, we can try to go and uh, continue building our scene so I'll see you guys on the next part which is building the material so that we can get some glassy realistic material alright